Thanks, Diana. Here then is how they'll start round three of the British Formula 3 International Series. It's a first career pole in F3 for Marcus Ericsson. Also on the front row at Alton Park, don't forget, for race one. Sergio Perez's Honda engine very quick in qualifying. Sebastian Hohenthal improves to third in qualifying ahead of the two Megals. Now, they've had a very strong run. Michael Devaney just quicker than teammate Gerrari. Brendan Hartley and Oliver Turvey, a round one winner, Turvey, line up in sixth and seventh ahead of Ricardo Tessera, his best qualifying in the series to date. Ozzy Sam Abe is ninth ahead of Jaime Aljaswari and Andy Merricks on the national pole. There is Marcus Ericsson then, the young Swede, with the whole field behind him, ready to get this underway. Sergio Perez on the outside of the front row. Ericsson doesn't get away well. Oliver Turvey stalled from six on the grid. That's dreadful from him. Oh, dear, Calvin, really bad news. Yeah, it's not a position you want to be in, Turvey. And off goes Ricardo Tixera and one of the Red Bull cars. I think it's Hartley. They've come together. There's bent wheels on those cars. Everyone else has got through, seemingly. Three wide, but they're getting through some way or another in these very wet conditions. Oh, and that's Sam Ebe, the Australian, bouncing over the kerbs and back on the grass. Now he's on the back straight. John Martin, his compatriot, coming by. And uh, there's Hartley. Looks like a very, very upset to Sarah. And here's why, Kelvin. Another look at it. Remember, Ericsson was away slowly from pole position. To Sarah is the orange car in the middle of the screen. And he gets hit from a strange one, really. I think Hartley just bumped straight in the back of him. But uh, end the race for both of those two. Well, everybody uh, continuing to race. Yellow flags out the first corner. Very slippery. Here's Oliver Turvey diving inside. Walter Grubmuller. And Turvey now starting to charge from the back of the field. He was almost dead last with Sebastian Hohenthal. Now, this is second place. Our race leader is Sergio Perez, who did surge away from the start, didn't he? Third place, Michael Devaney from fourth on the grid. The Megal's going really well here, but Nick Tandy is not in his Megal. He's out of the race. Ooh, there is Esteban Gerrari passing Ericsson for sixth position. Ati Mustanen right behind. Nick, you're not really having much luck at the moment, are you? No, to say the very least, yeah. Um, it's uh, another disappointing race, but at least we're showing promise there for a, for a bit. Uh, we just had a problem with a gear selector. It got stuck in, I could shift up, but uh, not able to shift back down. So when we got into fifth gear around the hairpin, it was a bit, yeah. So we brought in, hope that better in race two. Oh, hoping for better in race two, I think, will be Marcus Ericsson as well, the man who started on pole position here, just sliding down the order. He's now in a battle to hold on to a top six finish. We're with Artie Mustanen. On board here with Mustanen, and I noticed quite a lot of understeer on Ericsson's car. It is, of course, slippery, but that same applies to all of the cars. And uh, obviously the difference is you can see the front wheels struggling for grip there, and Mustanen all over the back of Ericsson here, so... He will be ruining that poor start, and he's now fighting for life. Switching inside is Mustanen, and he made that look quite easily. I think Ericsson is struggling to defend himself at the moment. Yeah, Mustanen got by for sixth position there without too many problems. And Ericsson's car may be set up for drying conditions. Here he is on pole position. And Kelvin, this is where it all goes wrong. Loads and mm. loads and loads of wheel spin. The car barely moving as everybody shoots by. He lost four places right there in the first 100 metres. Yeah, he probably wasn't even out of first gear by the time those four got through. Now then, this is the battle between Jaime Aljaswari in fourth place and Esteban Gerrari in the Megal chassis in fifth position. That Ultimate Motorsport Megal, complete change of colour since Alton Park. They were black there, now they're back to the more familiar orange. And he dives inside at Tower. Looks like the Spaniard's trying to come back, but I don't think he's going to find the traction out there. This is Mustaman's view from behind in sixth position then. Well, everybody in the pit watching with great interest here as the two Megals run third and fourth. They have never yet had a Megal chassis on the podium in Great Britain, and Michael Devane, he's been third all the way through, but his teammate, Esteban Gerrera, he's trying to go around the outside, and he's managed it. Oh, has he? Oh, very close. 
think he's carried it off. That looked a great move until right at the end of the corner where he dropped the wheel onto the kerb, but uh, he's through and good driving. Well, if they were watching that, that none of the team would be breathing. Imagine that, a podium with two cars involved and they took themselves off. It didn't happen. Luckily, Gerrari, though, now in third place. Devaney in fourth position, but closing in from behind is Ati Mustanen. Last lap then, final couple of corners for Sergio Perez. There is second place, Sebastian Hohenthal. There is third place, Esteban Gerrari, and Mustanen's got by. Yeah, great late move by Mustanen, but uh, he's stopping, Devaney's stopping. So he is, but it's going to be victory for Sergio Perez, his first in the championship and T-Sport's first ever in the championship class. He looks thrilled, but there's the other side of the coin. Looks like Michael Devaney might not even make it to the line and team boss Barry Walsh can't believe what he's seeing. Should have been a 3-4 for the Megals. Confirmation then, Andy Merrick again, the national class victor. Esteban Giurieri taking the girls' first podium, Sebastian Hohenthal second, but Sergio Perez, our delighted race winner. Sergio, many, many congratulations on uh, your first win in the British Formula 3 International Series. How does it feel? Oh, fantastic. I've been working a lot for this, and at the end we get it. All the team has done a, a lot of work during the last days, and it's what happened when you, when you work so hard with the team, and... We are not a team, we are a family, and this is why we are here. Many congratulations. What does that mean for T-Sport? Oh, it's massive. Yeah, really pleased. Really, really pleased for Sergio. He's worked really hard after the disappointments of Alton to come back. Fantastic. Really, really pleased. So congratulations to Sergio and the T-Sport team, both taking the first international class win here at Croft. And Hart